It's not just going to cop. That was a good quote there, wasn't it, in the news from Peter Kyle. I, I'd forgotten that we're currently presidents um, and the Prime Minister's not going to turn up. He's done three things, actually, Rishi Sunak. He's decided not to attend COP27 in Egypt, which I think can be loosely described as the biggest international environmental summit or just some people meeting in Egypt, as Therese Coffey described it. Let's just pause for a minute and think about that, right? Imagine you were on holiday in Sharm El Sheikh and you bumped into, you know, uh, John, John and Doris from number four. Oh, you couldn't believe it. Look at that. Look at that. John and Doris here. Look, darling. It's John. It's, it's only Doris and John, isn't it? From number four. You know how amazed you always are when you bump into someone that you have a vague... Or maybe you don't even know them, but you start chatting by the pool and it turns out they they, 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 they live in the same town as you. And it's, you can't, I can't believe it. It's such a small world, isn't it? So that is some people meeting in Egypt, right? That is some people meeting in Egypt, Therese Coffey. The, the 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 leaders are pretty much all, or senior politicians from pretty much all the developed countries in the world, having a summit to address a climate crisis. Therese Coffey, that's not really some people meeting in Egypt, is it? But hey ho, um, there is an indication of the direction of traffic that this government is clearly persuaded to follow, and I'm afraid you don't get to be surprised. Rishi Sunak was pretty clear during the leadership campaign that he lost to the woman who lost to the lettuce later that this is where he was coming from on environmental matters. Uh, and again, you know, the worst kind, and I speak as someone who fell for it for approximately 20 minutes last, what day was it? It was this week, wasn't it? Was it Monday? When did he do the speech outside Downing Street? When did he do the speech outside Downing Street? Was it Monday? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I fell for it. For, for Maybe I'm being a bit kind to myself, actually. Maybe it was more than 20 minutes. An hour, hour and a half. And then he started appointing his cabinet. And he realised that all that talk of integrity, accountability and professionalism was absolute bunkum. Bunkum. And um, that's partly because of his demeanour. He looks quite nice. He looks quite smooth. He looks quite sort of plausible. Johnson was a was a one-off, as we've discussed, in so many ways. Rishi Sunak looks like the kind of guy that you would buy life insurance off, doesn't he? Well, he does to me, anyway. And that is part of the problem, because his programme, when it comes to matters environmental, is hideous. In fact, it's one area where Boris Johnson, reportedly due to the influence of his current wife, Boris Johnson was actually... Not bad. I mean, I'm not sure he ever actually did much, but he was making all the right noises, sometimes even in the right order. So he's been prime minister for about two days, maybe a bit more. But in the last 48 hours, he's pulled out of attending COP27 in Egypt. He has removed Alok Sharma, who is currently the president of COP. Uh, good Lord, he's removed him from the cabinet. You can miss this stuff. There's quite a lot going on under the... Uh, under the under the under the radar, because uh, you know you've got uh, Suella Braverman undertaking all manner of strange behaviours and uh, appearing to be a security threat and needing lessons off MI5 on what she can and can't share with other people, sending government documents to some uh, obscure backbencher's wife for reasons that still haven't been explained. And now, according to some reports this morning, she even lied about um, the circumstances in which she resigned, claiming that she'd brought it to the attention of the last Prime Minister, Liz Truss, when in fact she just got busted, banged to rights, after being um, reported by the person to whom she'd accidentally sent the government document that was actually intended for the wife of an obscure backbench MP. But hey-ho, that was yesterday's scandal. Today's is pulling out of COP27, removing the current president, Alok Sharma, from the Cabinet, and also demoting the climate minister, Graham Stewart, from the Cabinet. So if we were to take Therese Coffey at face value, we could perhaps comfort ourselves with the thought, well, he's new in the job and he's got a lot on and maybe he'll send someone else instead, yada, 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 boom. But that little hat trick there of decisions taken in the last 48 hours against the backdrop of what we were talking about in the last hour, that's really, that's really interesting in a bad way. He's pulled out of COP27 
Even Liz Truss was planning to go to at least one day of the summit, even though she'd reportedly ordered King Charles not to attend. Remember that there was a, um, a, a bunch of commitments in the 2019 Tory manifesto. As I say, it was one of those areas where Boris Johnson actually made all the right noises. So he's not going there. Um, he promised this week to prioritise the environment, but he's demoted both the president of COP and the climate minister from his cabinet. That is a, the opposite of prioritising the environment. It just is. I don't think that's an opinion. I think that's just counting. Oh, you're prioritising the environment, are you? Excellent. So there'll be some, uh, some, some promotions or some sort of amplifications for the two members of the cabinet who are most closely allied with matters environmental. Well, no, James, I'm actually demoting them from the cabinet entirely. Oh, both of them? Yes, James, both of them. OK, so what does prioritising the environment look like if you're demoting the two most environmentally, or two of the, I suppose you've still got a Secretary of State, two of the most environmentally minded ministers from the Cabinet? Um, I don't know. He's got the autumn budget to concentrate on, of course he has. But I, I don't quite get it. That's my honest response to this. I don't quite get it. 